So, yeah, we were doing a live stream, so I guess we're going to part two of today's live stream because the game crashed, and because the game crashed, my PlayStation stopped broadcasting. So, yeah, this is a bit awkward. <laughs> Let's just uh, give everybody a second, hopefully, to migrate back over from the other stream to this stream. Hopefully, uh, we'll get everything going again here. And we'll pick up where we left off. Boy, that was uh, lovely. Thanks, Bethesda. So let's just see. We get going here. Yeah, yeah. Welcome back, indeed. So when the game crashed. Uh, it basically shut down the live stream. I, I figured it would have at least paused until I, you know, rebooted the game and just maybe gave us a blue screen there when I was on my, you know, main menu of the PlayStation. But no, no, no. Game crashed and it said, hey, you're not streaming anymore. So <laughs> I had to start up a second stream, which kind of sucks for the continuity because now maybe this is uh, going to get rec recommended out of order <laughs> to people who come along. So anyways, uh, let's get, let's get going again. Um, yep. And thank you all for coming back for part two. <laughs> and some new names popping up in the chat from last time. Uh, is that uh, Michelle Hill and Varga? Uh, hopefully I pronounced y'all's names right. Um, like I said, I don't, in the previous stream, kind of sitting away from the screen a little bit, so it's kind of hard to read. But anywho, I guess people are crashing servers because of taking away legs. Well, I was, I was playing in private, so it was either the game or my PlayStation, but I don't... It's hard to say. I, I, it's hard to say. Oh, man. Eli's really excited about something. He's going off about something in there. I don't know. <laughs> oh, he's going off about Pokemon Go. He's, I can't hear what he's talking about. He's like, carry 400 Pokemon. <laughs> After you load in, pop another syringe. I heard your thirst go off. That can lag you out. That might be it. I'll, p I'll pop another syringe. It's interesting. I, I it's, it's funny when I get building. Usually, I just let my guy star for hours. <laughs> it doesn't cause me any issues, but for whatever reason, having some issues today. Uh, Rad Wolf t twice in a private server on his. So. Yeah, mildly frustrating, uh, Bethesda. Whatever you did in this whole hot fix slash patch. Now I'm doing all this work on the interior, and I still haven't finished the back porch yet. Yeah. Which I guess is a good thing I took the lattice that I was going to do with the uh, these defensive posts out of the inside, because I do need one on the back porch. All right. First time to catch you live. Happy to be here, and happy to have you here. Um, now when you get a chance... Uh, Later on, after I stop streaming, you may want to go back to the first stream we started today because in that first stream, I did cover the process of how to build these cabinets here. I didn't go into the, all the drop merging, you know, the stuff on top, but the process of getting these countertops and these half wall cabinets underneath. So, and... Just to recap, these are half walls with wallpaper on them, so you can actually go and change the look of your kitchen however you want, with whatever you have, whenever it comes out. So, pretty awesome little feature you can do with this method that I showed off today. I don't have a whole lot of wallpapers, but yeah, as you can see going through these, all the options that you could possibly come up with here. And even more, because I'm sure for those of us who actually 
didn't take a one year vacation and miss a year's worth of content, you probably have even more than I do. You know, I'll look at that. Those are some jungle cabinets. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> not really. But it's kind of cool. It's kind of neat. That's neat. That's, that's neat. But not, not in this house. Willwood Tavern. And then, of course, the Twitch Prime Modern. Yeah. Anyways. And we did the same thing over here. Same process. Just double walled it to make this little divider. That was also in the first, the first stream today. So, yeah. Um. Do, 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 working on this entertainment center. And what are we going to decorate it with? Oh, no. I was working on the entertainment center. And then I said, hey, what would go great under these stairs is a little breakfast nook. So that's what I was going to do. I was going to build a little dining table right here for my character to have his little nibbles at in the morning, afternoon, and evening. Or, you know, fish stir fry. Cooking up right here. Got a little bit of flame going from that oil. Just stir frying it up. Got a, you know, got some fish here for a guest as well. Uh, don't ask me where I caught it because uh, this lake is dry. <laughs> All right, so floor decor. To get a rug back there, I did I use that runner upstairs. Yes, I did right by the door. So I'm not going to use the runner again. Oh, and another thing I got to work out. I haven't ran power in this house yet. I've just got this one little generator sitting here with two conduits. So I've got to I got to work out where I'm going to hide the power because flat roofs. I have no voids to tuck this generator into. So, I gotta worry about that too. God, that looks good. That looks really good. I, I can't get over how good this room divider looks. It's the first I've ever built anything like this in a camp, and man, that's nice. And it's so easy to build too. I mean, just such a simple little thing. Just really sets it apart in here. It really does, and I like it. It's nice. All right. So, see if I got enough space to get this rug to go in. This rug, it's it's small yet hard to get it to fit in anywhere, especially these tight spaces because it's it's sitting on those stairs. I want to use a different rug. Maybe this one will go in. I don't really like this rug though, not for this application. But I mean, it could work. This little rug right here. Kind of like that. Oh, what do you mean intersecting object? Come on. I bet it's the stairs. It's always the stairs. I might have to put my rug on a rug to get it to go in here. <laughs> kind of like the Cardinals. It's kind of nice. <clears throat> but I don't know. I might have to put my rug on a rug. I'm probably going to go with this black one. But here's what we're going to have to do to get it to work. Because my hunch is... I mean, this rug should go in. But we've got the steel stairs right there to the left. And stairs are really weird about letting you build under them. So what I'm going to have to do here, likely, is I'm going to have to build everything on this rug. And then put the rug on a rug that isn't going under the stairs because with this going under the stairs it's detecting collision with the stairs and won't let it go in so if I place it on an item going and we'll just test this real quick and I don't I don't want to do it this way but I'm gonna have to I guess and I have a couple ways I could go about it I could use just this rug right here and just try to find a way to tuck it under and do a little drop merge to kind of blend it. When they are kind of the same color tone, just about, so it might blend fairly well to hide it. Or I could use the little cork looking rug. Why does it look so crooked? I lined it up on the foundation, but it looks crooked. Uh, can I remove the foundation under the stairs? 
Uh, no, no, no. I don't think I can, uh, because yeah, I can't. So this uh, this room divider right here is this offset and merged in the foundation. So this has got to stay where it is because putting it back in with everything being decorated already, yeah, that's, that's not going to happen. I'm having really bad lag issues right now. Uh, I can feel it jittering when I move my character, so it could be acting up again. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some stuff done and the server doesn't crash on us again, but... If it does, I think I will probably call it for the day, as far as live streaming is concerned. Uh, not, I don't necessarily want to, but I won't. I don't see the point in staying here fighting it all day and having like three different streams posted for the same day on YouTube. It might just be kind of weird, and people are going to get on them like all out of order because the algorithm does really weird things. As far as recommendations for people to view streams and whatnot. Why won't you go on? You know what? I think I know what's getting me. There's a, uh, there's a stick. There's like one little stick right there. You see it? I don't know. That's weird. I should be able to support this rug on a rug. But for whatever reason, it's... Okay, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Let's go wait for it to bounce up again. And then that'll be where... Am I standing too close to it? Come on. Finally! Alright, we got it. <laughs> Only took like four tries. Five tries. I don't know how many tries. I'm not going to go moving it around. But yeah. Okay. So let's just see if this will slide in there. And what I'll probably do is I'll probably tuck this rug into this um, little divider here. It won't even be visible when everything's said and done. See, oh look, it works. All right, cool deal. So now we can kind of build the um, little breakfast nook here and just slide it in. So what I'm going to do is try to grab this rug and get stuck on everything. And yeah, let's just... Make sure this is aligned nice and straight. I don't think it is. Alright. Okay. So I need to, need to figure out a little table to use. For our you know, dining area. I don't know what to use yet, but I am going to find something. I do like this little table. Um, let's go kind of scope it out in here. It kind of matches the color tone of what we've got here. I think if we line it up with it, I can probably get this to go in no problem, actually. Yeah. But I want the rug. I want the rug under it. Just just to give it some variation from everything else. I want the rug here and yeah, so I'm gonna Alright. Figure out the placement on the rug. Bring it all in, slide it in place. So I'm thinking on the chairs everything being so tight, I might just have one chair pulled out that you can actually sit in, and the other chair tucked under the table. And I gotta figure out which chairs to use. A nice modern house. We got a, a bit of a rustic table, so it's a bit of a mix in, in design on the inside compared to the outside. This is a neat table, but not table, neat chair, but it's really too rustic. The ladder racks are kind of old fashioned. That doesn't match the table. That's a computer chair, which I should build a computer in this house too. That's kind of neat, but not uh, not what we need here.
too fancy. Lord, who knew picking a chair could be so hard? Those are all too tall. I could just do a bench. It's always an option, too. I might just do that. Maybe a couple benches. We'll slide one. Have one slid under. Oh my god, my dog just. Well, let go of a big one right beside me. That's bad. <laughs> I'm like sitting here, like, what is that smell? Thanks. Oh, appreciate that. Alright, and let's just drop merges in. I'm not making this perfect is there are certain elements in this build I wanted to make it feel kind of lived in so I'm gonna make sure I can sit in the right direction on this absolutely not I'm sitting backwards which I mean isn't necessarily a bad thing Thank you very much for the uh, super chat, Varga. I do appreciate that. It's greatly appreciated. Alright, so we are sitting in the right direction now. Now to decorate up the table before it goes in there. And we're going to put something in this corner too. I'm thinking a potted plant because there is the window right there. It would be a great place for a potted plant. Thinking possibly the white springs, the, the fern. Maybe. I do like that one a lot. That room divider is bad A. I did something similar as a hallway in my modern build. It is very awesome. And I would love to see your modern build. If you're on PlayStation, you should uh, shoot me a friend request and come check out your camp sometime. Yeah, I do appreciate you, Varga. That's uh, very nice of you. And, you know, that's what I'm here for. So I, I had to go live. Uh, I couldn't sleep. I was like, after I figured out how to do that countertop thing last night... I wanted to put it out there how to do it and putting together a full tutorial video and editing it down would have taken me a while to get it done and I figured well what's the fastest easiest way to do it than to just live stream so I came out this morning and just went right to it and that's you know that's I want to share what I know with y'all and you know it's it's great you know intersecting with nothing now <laughs> put it down in the same spot <laughs> for whatever reason like, oh it's not going to go down but now now it goes down okay so we got a plant we got a table we got chairs we're on top of the table wish we had place settings that would be very nice i'm thinking Da, 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 da. This guy. A dead center, because I'm trying to line this up with the, uh, the little room divider thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just 
flipping this around. All right. And then floor decor. I think I might use a rug for a placemat. Wish we had place settings. It would be really nice to, you know, put like a plate and... And I know we do have the uh, the Thanksgiving table, which I didn't buy like an idiot back when it came out. <laughs> and I wasn't playing this Thanksgiving. I don't know. Place settings or no place settings? It's kind of... A little placemat for your food, maybe? Maybe. I don't know. I'm not feeling it. I could make a runner on the table. A little table runner. Uh, maybe. Do, 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 do. I mean, I got one fruit bowl on the uh, bar, but eh, it never hurts to have a second fruit bowl, does it? I didn't get the Kwanzaa bundle, so I don't have the corn and stuff that I could put out. So that's really all I got. Not a whole lot of options there. Thinking a little bit of asymmetry will be all right. Maybe I could put a stein on the table, like a drinking cup, maybe. Yeah, it'll be all right. I'm starting to get close on budget, and I don't need to like do a bunch of overkill on little things. So I still got to finish decorating upstairs and do a bathroom. I forgot about the bathroom. Now, I want to get this thing super close to this wall. I'm going to have to break the wall and then slide it in. Eh, no, I can't grab it. That's okay. I could go to the build camera and get it probably. Charcoal square rug, table, all half, whoop, I think I had it for a second there, rug, oh goodness, I grabbed it but I can't see it to move it around, that's alright, it'll be fine, finally get it in a clean bath, yeah we are, yeah we are, and I'm looking forward to that. Clean bathtub, can't wait. Yeah, this will be fine for now. I, I can I can fix it later and get it pulled back to the corner so I can walk through here a little less uh, you know hindered. Just in this little extra space. Slid back into the wall should go fairly well. I might have to break. I could just break it now. Yeah, let's break it now tech with it. We're breaking it. Just go ahead and do it now. Why put off for tomorrow what you can do right now? So we're just going to burn right across here. Try to get both walls and the benches. Yeah. Burn it till it stops. Oh, I can't reach the bottom benches. That's going to be interesting. Come on. Okay. That's what I was afraid of. So the benches are in the way. I mean, I could just grab them and move them. I mean, it's not like I can't slide them back in. Oh, yeah, it is like I can't slide them back in because furniture entry is blocked. <laughs> okay. Well. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. So I can't get this any closer unless I were to actually break those benches. And the flamethrower trap's not going to hit those benches. So. I guess I'll just get somebody to come help me out later. It's no biggie. It'll just be done off stream. I'll get this tightened up against here later on. And I can actually get those things broken. It's okay. All right, so we got a little dining area here. Nice wide open area. I gotta figure out something to put in this area. So we're coming in. 
It's still looking kind of empty in here. There's still so much more I could possibly do. It just feels, feels kind of empty. I mean, it's a nice house, but yeah. Well, anyways. So I think, for now, I'll store this. Store this. Alright. Let's take a walk around here. Uh, may, and mainly for those of y'all who weren't around for the first half. Before the uh, game crashed. <laughs> Let's get a sh look at what we're actually working on here. Uh, I did showcase... I did show off this build the other night on Jessica Starr's uh, Twitch stream. Uh, back... The other night when I showed it off, it wasn't, you know, fully decorated yet. And it's still not fully decorated now. There are a few things around here that I still need to do. Um, mainly the back porch needs finished. I kind of got lazy the morning I built this and just said, Oh, I'm tired of building and didn't finish the back porch. <laughs> I think I built most of this house in one evening. Um, yeah, so let's take a walk around the outside here. My upstairs door is open, <laughs> oddly enough. Anyway, so this is what I'm working on. Just a small, modern townhouse. Fairly, uh... Fairly simple design. But effective. Uh, we've got... One... There's three layers of roof in the top to get the, uh... The dimensions that I have here. There's a bit of a... Little step right here. If you stop and look right here, there's a... Little step. There's this layer of roof that I got my cursor on that runs through the house, and then the outer layer. This is offset a quarter and merged, so it's three rows of roof across with an overlap, a one half overlap to get a quarter on each side, and then it goes straight back with no overlaps. So you see right here, we got here's the edge of the roof. There's one quarter. There's half, and there's it's three quarters, I believe. Three quarters overhanging on the back for the back porch. So we got just, yeah. And everything's just kind of merged and overlapped. And on the top, you might be wondering, well, do you have like the shimmery bits? Is it shimmering? Are we going to get a seizure if we stare at it too long? And yeah, yeah, it's it's shimmering right here in the middle. Uh, but from a distance, it's not horrible. I mean, it's there. But if you come out here and you're trying to see the build from... I mean, you're not going to see it. You know, ground level. Unless you actually go up there and look for it, you're not going to see it. So, yeah. That's one thing with these flat roofs you have to deal with sometimes is the, uh, the flicker. But anyways, and up front we got this little railing here. Uh iron fence and I don't know why that's not touching but it's not touching weird um, I got a planter here made from the lodge fireplaces and the uh, <clears throat> whatever potted plant that is and then another planter made with another lodge fireplace and some more potted plants stairs made from the garden benches and going into an asbestos roof porch because uh, yeah, this is offset by one half, and whenever I built this, for whatever reason, I couldn't get found a foundation flip merge to work here, and which is kind of for the better though, because when you do that, you end up with like support being tied, kind of weird, and it can be kind of tricky when you're constantly pulling in and pulling out flo floors to make adjustments. So it worked out well, unless I'm trying to do some super weird angular offset. I don't really use merge foundations all that much in my build, so I oftentimes sub out for roof pieces. Did you merge the fireplace and conduit or into the foundation? I I did this fireplace into conduit um, mainly because I had to get the fireplace to disappear to get the stairs to merge into the fireplace. It was weird. But yeah. And it didn't it wasn't quite the perfect merge that I wanted. There is a little gap of ground showing here. It, it, it wasn't ideal. Um, it didn't quite go perfect, but yeah, it is what it is. You just kind of take these little losses and 
maybe try to figure out a better way to do it next time. So that's where I'm at on that. Uh, I didn't quite get things perfect. And I kind of let it slide on that because I had already met my wits end on these stairs trying to get everything to work. Um, but yeah, I used conduit to make that go in. And then going up here, we've got these stairs, which I used, uh, I used the porch pieces to actually get these stairs to snap up higher. And uh, I can, I'll show you the difference if I go right here. It's a little trick if anyone's wondering. You can take uh, stairs. Alright, so as you can see, these stairs kind of snap down, right? And all stairs to so the regular... can't wait to decipher how you did it. I uh, feel you, juice box. Um, yeah, there's there's a lot there's a lot involved in this one. Um, and yeah, for those of y'all who don't know, and I, I cover this one a lot, but there might be some fresh faces here. Um, when you build your stairs to foundation pieces, normally if you use a regular foundation, your stairs snap downward. If you take the uh, foundation out, which removing a foundation with stairs attached, if you have an adjacent foundation snapped to it, you can pull the support for the stairs. If you want your stairs to snap up flush, use a porch. Super important detail. Snap a porch in, then your stairs will snap up flush, and then boom. And you can build. And it works with these stairs, the other wood stairs, and these stairs, as far as like the foundation stairs go. So that's how I got these concrete stairs up flush. If you wonder in your build why yours aren't snapping in flush. You use the uh, porches to snap them in. And once again, back here, same case. Uh, snapped in the porch to get this up here nice and flush. On the notches, as you you got a double, if you have a double-walled home, which, come to find out, these picket fences, uh, you can only build 32 of them. I uh, found out the hard way in the first half of the uh, stream today. I did have a big plan to build a, a lattice out of these white picket fences on the interior. <laughs> but that didn't work out, which I'm glad it didn't because I like what we did better. Uh, but anyways, these stacked picket fences make excellent notch covers on the inside corner or outside corner, whatever, of your house. Whenever you build double walled homes, that covers up the notch fairly nicely these stacked fence posts so that's uh, another little detail going on here to get uh, the thinner the skinnier front window to make this place look more like the dimensions of the reference picture I was working with I ended up uh, stacking these wavy willard pillars on each side on the inside of the frame plus the double frame to increase the thickness of the wall just to make it look a little more picture accurate, if any of y'all are in the Facebook group, uh, face or Fallout 76 camps, or I can't, yeah, I think that's what it is, yeah. Uh, there was a gentleman who shared a picture of a render, and this house is my attempt at replicating that render in Fallout 76. If I had any way of sharing that picture, I may have in my community. Uh, post. I'm not sure. I'll have to look. If I haven't shared it in my community post, I'll share it after I get off stream. Um, the picture of this house and a picture of the render that inspired it. And coming to the inside, um, this stair, the set of stairs, is offset to the wall using catwalks. It is floating. So, in order to have the upper floors attached, I did attach them at the back out here. So this this is where all the support is coming for the upper upper floors on this back floor. And then offset by one half right here. So there's a half floor right here. So the best I could do to cover it up was use this runner. I might merge a second runner in it just to make it look like it's the stars carpet. Uh, so I may do that. I haven't figured out where I'm going to put my washer and dryer yet. So they're just sitting here. <laughs> but anyways, that offset the floors by one half on this side. That way... I could have the stairs offset by a half down here and it'll all be kind of seamless. I haven't built the railing yet, so that's also on the agenda. Things that I need to do, build a railing. I might build a railing using these benches, come to think of it. And that will be a super easy railing to put in. 
Let's just go right here. Pull this. Oh, if I pull this away from there, I think my front lights are going to turn off. Yeah, they did. <laughs> the lights out front turned off because I don't have power. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? This is just temporary anyways. I'm just going to put this conduit over... What the heck? It's temporary until I can figure out my power situation. i got to figure out how I'm going to wire this place. I got lazy when I built it. I was in such a hurry to build it, and I didn't think about how I was actually going to make it functional. Funny. Did it get darker in here? I, mean, I feel like it got darker in here. It's kind of weird. Those lights not come back on outside. No, they came back on. Weird. All right, anyways. So, going back up here. Let's just build a railing real quick. Get this over with. It needs it. So, we're going to go to the chairs. What I'm just going to do the same thing for that lattice. I think this will fit pretty well here, actually. I could do some little trick with the wall to get this to merge into the wall a little bit. Buy a little space. I'm not a huge fan of how much it sticks over into the uh, stairs. I could, do, I could do three of these, drop merge them down, get them to the stair level, and then kind of... Come on. I'm standing too close to them. This game's weird. They, they did something with the collision, so that if you stand too close to the objects you're trying to uh, work with, it'll say that you can't place them because it's colliding. So I might try to get this into the wall some. Uh, I think I could. Let's make the wall disappear. I should have changed the wall to something else. <laughs> I have a feeling we might have some issues merging this into that wall. Or not. Where did I go? Am I standing too close to it? I might be hitting this wire. Let me get rid of that wire for a minute. Alright, so let's get a um, pressure plate out here. We're going to merge this and make this railing really quick. Oh, careful what you're grabbing. I gave myself a heart attack. I would hate to grab something by accident and break my build. That's fine. We'll, we'll roll with that. That will do just fine. Let's reattach that and then repair these guys. Like it was never even there. There we go. That's a railing. Yeah, that works for me. Goodness. I have no idea how long I've been at it. I think I started at uh, 8.40, so it's been a little over two hours total with both streams combined. Um, and for those of y'all who uh, may have missed the first half, I'm sorry to be going so soon, <laughs> but I think I am going to hop off here in a second. Oh, as I'm standing here, by the way, started signing my builds so when you're watching my YouTube videos my showcases it's kind of like a little Easter egg just look for it stole your sweet roll SYS and uh, yeah if you spot it in the videos just throw a little shout out in the comments hey I saw where you signed your build X place <laughs> I don't you don't know, get a prize you know the points don't matter but I mean I'll know you were watching it I'll know you saw it so 
little subtle places. Um, I haven't quite figured out where I'm going to hide it on this build yet. Just got it sitting on the mailbox for now. But this build will get signed, and I'll make sure the signature is in the showcase video whenever I film it. Uh, but it's not going to be specifically where you're going to see it. You're going to like look for it. But I'll make sure it's featured. So yeah, I'll have it signed. Sys. Every every build that I showcase will have a signature on it. So just yeah, might be a little fun little thing to do. Just look out for it, and then just throw it down in the comments. Hey, I saw uh, where you signed your build on the window at the front of the house, or you know whatever, something like that. Oh yeah. Um. Next build I'm showcasing. I think I'm gonna swing over to it before I say goodbye. So we'll do a live tour and then I'll, I'll do a proper showcase video for this one pretty soon. I'm not sure which one I'm doing first. I think I'm gonna do this treehouse next for a proper showcase video. I'm not sure. It just it just depends. I've got this treehouse that I've been working on. I've got this modern build and then on a different character, I've got another modern build. <laughs> I've been working on as well. So I'm going to showcase, uh, not showcase, but give you guys a live tour real quick of the other camps I'm working on. And then after that, I think I'll say goodbye for the day and uh, we'll catch you, you know, next time. So let's I'll show you these builds and we'll go from there. Let's see. All right, all right, all right, all right. Treehouse. Wait for it to load in. Hopefully it looks good. Uh, depends on how well the textures load for me. Okay. And yeah, there's uh, intentionally broken pieces, so it, it spontaneously breaks every time you come to it. I had to go up in the camp real quick and uh, flip a switch to make my, my searchlight work. getting hungry really fast. I shouldn't be blowing through survival syringes so fast. Like, never do I, like, drop down to, like, three. I usually get survival syringes back just as fast as I'm using them. Lame. Alright. Anyways. So we got this, uh, here's my tree house. It's kind of nice. Um, I'm going to call it the Hoarder's Haven. There's a story behind it, but uh, I'll tell that story later. It's uh, kind of dark. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's a decent story. I The shape of it, pretty basic for the most part. It's, it's square. Square tree houses are easy, but this terrain wasn't easy to work with. I wanted to do a round tree house when I came into it. Well, I was having collision issues with the tree. I was having support issues with the ground. I couldn't get the foundations to snap in for whatever reason. I kept I kept hitting spots where it was like nothing would nothing would place. Like right past here, I couldn't get support for anything. I'm gonna try to place something down here. As you see, cannot place item intersects with an existing object. Can cannot place item selected item is floating. I get support right here, but then, yeah, it's kind of, kind of weird. All in the areas where I needed to get support to make this treehouse round, I couldn't get support for whatever reason. So, it ended up being square, and then collision issues. But anyways, enough of me griping about the build system and the the trials and tribulations I went through building this thing. Let's just look at it. Okay, so here we have a. Um, our little hoist for all of our, our guy's uh, spoils that he's scavenged in the wasteland. A little queue of luggage and of freight that he's got to haul up there. Yeah, it's a pretty nice little hoist. And inside the trailer, this guy, like I see, he's a bit of a hoarder. <laughs> he is uh, hoarding all sorts of goods. And this is a fun, funny little trick uh, that, you know, when you have a prefab that you want to completely decorate, but you don't want to spend all your budget decorating it, 
<laughs> just call your character a hoarder and build a wall of junk. <laughs> that way, it can look like it is packed to the brim, but it's only packed right here. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I just threw some junk in here and oh look, there's my vending machine. The vending machines are kind of stashed around in this, in this camp. You kind of got to look for them. I don't have them out in the open like the other ones. Uh, this one is for those who don't have marsupial because this is a camp that requires marsupial to actually get up in it. Sadly, we don't have ladders in this game and, well, my treehouse operates on ladders. So we have these conduit ladders I've got built here on the side of the trailer. The first one, at marsupial, you can jump up and stand right on the top rung. And if you can't, I got this little uh, table down there to get you a head start. And you just kind of step up, you'll kind of walk off the top rung. And then from here, come on up. We've got a picket, picket fence gate. And we'll close that. And up here underneath the stairs, as you first come in, we've got our vending machine and a little bit of uh, you know, stashes, a little, a little bit of uh, storage there. We've got an ammo box. And coming over here, scrap box. And a dartboard over here on the wall, which uh, there is a dartboard on the scoreboard apparently that I found out about that you actually play darts on. That would be nice to have in here if I ever get it. If I manage to finish a scoreboard this month or whatever, this season. And I got a couple of instruments strewn about to play. I've got a banjo here, and then there's a, two guitars over there on the other side. But to the hoist, I've got this little. I got this idea from a fella named Nightcrawler. He plays on PlayStation. He it was, uh, he did a video that was featured on TNG's Top 5 last week. He did, uh, the boat from, D the boat from Jaws. He invited me over to check it out, and he did a, he made a fishing roll, a fishing reel, a uh, fishing rod and reel out of this, uh, counter thing. And so I kind of borrowed his idea, and so I turned this counter into a crank for the hoist. So that goes over to the hoist and down. And we'll crank right here to crank it in. We've got the cook stations over here. And once again, number one meal in the wasteland right now, fish. For whatever reason, everybody's making fish these days. I don't know why. Um, we've got our little cooler here for our colas and whatever else we find. More fish, probably. And then coming through here, we got our... Uh, aquarium with uh, fish that we're going to eat someday. Um, <laughs> anyways, in a little garden here. Just kind of hanging out. And a couch. Yeah, it's junked up. Junky decorations. Um, and there's more going on on the exterior of this, of this camp too. It's kind of hard to see from right here, so I'll go into the uh, build camera here in a second. But um, before we get to the main attraction of this camp... I like the most. We've got the bathroom over here. Not a whole, whole lot going on. Just a little, another fish. <laughs> Some fireflies in there. Um, but yeah, place, nice little place to sit. More garden stuff. But big draw for me, the spiral stairs. We're just going to take a small walk up here. Yeah, normally I don't have issues going up, but for whatever reason, I just had issues right there. But anyways. Push Nizzle, how you doing, bud? Fishing in the wasteland is easy. We have lots of grenades. Mine the bones and shrapnel. <laughs> right on. Now up here in the, uh, the little bedroom, that's properly junked up. Uh, in here we've got the small fire down in the wood stove. That was a, that was a fun one to merge in. Because the wood stove itself doesn't actually, you can't drop mer drop merge with this. It just stays in place whenever you put it on anything. So you can't float or drop merge anything off of the wood stove. So I had to, I had to do some tricky, tricky stuff to get that fire inside that wood stove. I can't exactly remember what I did. I think I floated it up off of an object, broke the object it was on, and then slid the wood stove over it. Yeah, something like that. But anyways, continue on. Thank you, thank you, Fish Nizzle. 
Um, we did a whole lot more before you showed up. And if we did. This is the second stream today because the first stream got cut in half by a unexpected game crash, which stopped my stream. In the first stream, I covered a new technique for doing some kitchen counters and some some neat little wall merging tricks with half walls and foundations. So be sure to go back and check that out after I get off here. Um, hate that I'm catching you or you're catching me right as I'm getting ready to quit streaming for the day as soon as I get done showing these last couple camps. Um, but that's just kind of how it is today, I reckon. But uh, be sure to go back and check out the, the beginning of the stream, uh, the other stream, under uh, my channel. Go to the live tab and just, yeah. Anywho, I'll have to put like part one, part two on them, rename them after I'm done streaming. Uh, that way to keep them in order for those who come upon them. Don't know, hey, oh, this is part two. <laughs> I hate that the, the game crashed on me and it kind of messed that up. So now I have two streams for today that people have to go back and watch to get the whole picture. But anyways, I'm going to go in the build camera really quick. Okay. And we'll kind of pan this out to show off the decoration of the outside. I wish I could turn off the cursor when I'm in the build camera sometimes. Or if the photo mode camera worked like this. That would be nice. So we got a bunch of layers of junk, you know, on these fences and walls to kind of really clutter things up. Pictures, posters, paintings, whatever. All hammered in to reinforce the walls of this treehouse. And patch holes here and there. And up top, in the top structure, we got the uh, Slocum Joe sign and an awning and all these connections for the cables. Weapons displays to act as boards. We got a big fan in the window here. Uh, solar power uh, with the support. You know, I got these beams back here, but on the front, there's nothing. You know, how is it supported? We've got rigging tied up into the tree to act as a structural support for the treehouse to stay standing. The spiral staircase coming down nice and clean. And then we've got this banister made out of the power pylons going up the stairs. On the outside, once again, more layered up junk walls and fences and guard posts, you name it, just to help give it more dimension and more depth. And yeah, there's, there's a lot going on here in this little tight cramped space, but that is my tree house and I will be filming a video for it sometime soon I'm not sure when whenever I get the time um, just not sure when I'll be doing it but yeah there will be a video out for this one as well as the other two camps that I'm working on so the next one is up in the air I don't know which one I'm going to be doing a proper showcase for first but uh, yeah what about that droid attack on the Wookiee? <laughs> Let's see here. Activate. That's right, it's on my other character. So I'm going to go ahead and reactivate. No, not that one. Which, I am very fortunate I, I showcased the modern bungalow. Filmed that last week before the patch. Because in the patch, they ruined the texture to the corner Slocum Joe bar, the new one, which just happens to be the piece that I use for my uh, range hood. So, yeah, that build got kind of ruined. I mean, it's not ruined ruined. Uh, it's just the texture on the range hood is like Vanta black. It's like super black. <laughs> I'll fast travel back to this camp. That way I can pick up where I left off later whenever I get back online. And, uh, yeah, I want to change characters to the one that's got the camp that I'm working on in the mire. And this one that I'm working on in the mire has been a lot of work. <laughs> it's been a lot. I mean, a lot. 
And tragically, the idea that I came up with for the kitchen isn't going to work for this camp in the mire. And that's, I'm struggling on it. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for the kitchen. And I'm also running out of budget. Really running out of budget on it. Yeah, for sure. That would be awesome. Check out your tree house. I didn't realize I had so many uh, quest markers up on my screen <laughs> until just now. Character and play. Do, 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 waiting on a loading screen. Do, 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 do. But yeah. This camp right here, it's, it's, it's been uh, a lot of work. A lot of work getting this one that I'm getting ready to show y'all. Um, it started out, I was looking for a good spot. Came across this clearing in the Myers on a hillside. And I was looking at it, I was like, oh, well, what if I did something... Uh, still have that house you built with the pillars underneath where the stairs was in one of the pillars. Uh, not sure I know which one you're talking about. Uh, no. Alright. I hear something shooting. Hopefully they're not shooting at my little local Mega Sloth. So this spot right here has a Mega Sloth that nine times out of ten spawns spawns in uh, this tree right here. He's usually just up here hugging this tree. Uh, sometimes he comes down and he makes a lot of racket and you hear him stomping about, but most of the time he's up here just hugging the tree. But uh, yeah, this one right here. I've got a lot of work that I'm doing on this one still yet. And by the way, if you see where it says repair barren elm tree, I've got broken elm trees out here. Another trick that I learned from Nightcrawler. <laughs> to bulldoze the grass to just kind of mow the lawn a bit because otherwise it's it looks like this all overgrown you put those barren elm trees out they'll blanket sweep any sort of like debris that are bulldozable in like a big radius and then you can use your flamethrower and break them and the tree disappears and it's everything stays bulldozed so it's a neat little trick but anyways, this is uh, yeah, this is the place. This is the new one that I, the other new one that I'm working on. I think they're taking pot shots at that sloth. Let's let's help our buddy out. There's another one out here somewhere. All right. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Those mean old liberators trying to kill you. I got your back. Yeah, yeah. Go, go back up in your tree. Take a nap. He won't. He's just gonna stomp around all evening. What the f that wasn't always. Wait a minute. Why does that seem so low? Oh. Anyways. I thought there was something up at the house. Anyways, swinging in here. Um, so I was working well into the night, night before last on this one. Yeah, night before last. And, um, yeah, so here's what we got so far. Not a whole lot going on. Just got a little bit of the living room. Now, the budget on this is super stressed. I mean, I'm cutting it really close on the budget. You can see what I have left here. Um, not a whole, whole lot of budget. But there is 
there is some neat things going on in this camp. So this is the first one that I've ever done an island range on, you know, countertop range on an island. So this is kind of a new one for me. And we've got this uh, floating range hood here that actually goes up through the ceiling. And I have a uh, exhaust pipe on the roof that lines up with this as well. Uh, but yeah, countertop wise, I haven't gotten anything done yet. I've been procrastinating because I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. Don't know what I'm doing here. I, I was wanting to do like a, a, a an oven too, and I'm just trying to trying to brainstorm some ideas for this one. But yeah, I do have this nice little range made out of a uh, the red rocket table. This was this was the prototype though, the one that I did in the other camp that we were at earlier. That one was like the perfected version of this. Kind of went a uh, you know, an evolution of sorts. You know, you, you test an idea, you perfect the idea, you improve on the idea. Uh, what are the buttons? Those. I'm just going to grab one and make sure I hit circle. Little battle bots. Just drop merge down. That is what they are right there. Yep. And then, uh,. These things right here, the uh, power radiators, and this is a uh, bench. As you see, the uh, the power radiators are merged into the bench, and the bench merged into the red rocket table, and then the red rocket table merged into the white springs table. If I can get a hold of it. <laughs> And I can't seem to grab the white springs table. But anyways, you know, that's how it goes. You know, I did the power radiators merged into the bench. Then the bench merged into the red rocket table. Then the red rocket table merged into the white springs table at the same time as the battle bots. Or bottle bots. Battle bots. Bottle bots. And then that merged into the fancy bar. Then the fancy bar merged into the fancy bar. To bring it all together into one cohesive unit that goes anywhere, everywhere <laughs> yeah, I want to put it. Yeah. That's that was a bit of a process and then yeah. I took everything I learned from this one and then applied it into the other camp that we started off at today to make the one in there and went further with it. We're having, you know, the fire inside the burner to have that glow plus, you know, cooking the food and all that on top of you know, the stove too, to add a bit more uh, to it. Yeah, uh, coming around in here, we have the loft, which I haven't fully decorated yet, and everything everything's kind of in shambles where I'm still getting moved in here, so. But, uh, coming up here, we've got uh, just, a, you know, a few small decorations. Uh, in order to fill it down a little more, I did decide to put on, like, a magazine display case. Just so, um, you know, I could get a few more decorations out without spending any extra budget. Um, got some custom art I made. Not really custom custom. It's just three paintings kind of layered up on each other. That will make it look a little bit different than just one. And in here, I've got a little closet for my washer and dryer. Kind of behind this room divider. The idea is like, well, you know, it's like a little accordion type closet or laundry closet and in fact there I got my little bottle of laundry detergent and <laughs> a glass bottle whatever um, over here is the bathroom which isn't put together yet but this is where the bathroom is going to be and then over here we've got the bedroom and this is my favorite room in this house so far So we've got a uh, custom futon that I built using the living edge table, the lodge, hunting lodge table, yeah. Uh, drop merged it all together, then drop merged it through a rug, and then it's merged through the floor in here as well. And got a small vanity here for, you know, this character's a girl, by the way, so, <laughs> you know, all the creature comforts of 
I know what you would want to have as as a lady, a place to do your makeup, because I mean you gotta look good in the wasteland, right? And uh yeah. It's going around. A little wind and then this little sliver of a window uh from the glass wall, the doorway, just kinda cutting off, making sure I'm a little bit bigger than a one by two. Uh, it's actually a one and a quarter by two. Just get that extra little bit of space to make it feel a little more open. And coming through here, we got this nice hallway that kind of wraps around. Like I said, I don't have a whole lot of decorations out yet. We got this hallway that goes around, and then we got a little runner and a shoe rack here. A shoe rack for our shoes as we come in. <laughs> and going out on the back porch. Which, uh, yeah. Yeah, keep your eyes peeled for that signature, by the way. You might find it. Um, I'm surprised they haven't done an Enclave scoreboard yet, either. That's, uh, interesting. It might come one day. But, yeah, we got these, uh, posts once again. You know, the, uh, picket fences to hold up the roof here. Nice little detail. These, uh... Now, the thing about this house, I didn't, uh, I forgot to mention, coming up into it, this is all built on upper floors, mostly. Now, aesthetically, I do have, you always have to have, you always have to have at least one foundation. I do have two foundations in on this back patio, um, but that was mainly to try to I wanted to save a little bit of budget on the roof pieces, and, well, there was a couple reasons. But uh, tying support back to the house, because when you build on the upper floors, you've got to have them tied support to a foundation. And to have upper floors at ground level, you either have to bridge stairs upwards or bridge stairs downwards. So beneath the map right here, I've actually got a set of stairs going down right here, and a set of stairs coming up right here tied to one single roof piece underground which bridges the support for the whole house from this foundation right here around to here and then the whole house is built on upper floors and um, I wanted to try to thicken it up and make it look a bit like a concrete slab the best I could so to make it thicker I came down a little bit and floated in a layer of roof underneath the floor to thicken it up and then we got these uh, these pillars here for support and um, yeah, this pillar here, kind of this stone foundation or brick foundation right here, it runs length. This is a false foundation in order for me to hide my power. So we've got the power hidden right in here, kind of like a basement. Normally I can just run through, but yet for some reason I can't. I don't know why. Weird. But yeah, power's hidden in there. Another clever, hot, another clever thing is right here, this little sliver of gray is actually the entrance to my vault. Just got it slightly merged into the wall because I didn't like the look of the vault hatch anywhere around this build. So I was like, I need to hide this thing. So inconspicuously hit it, a little square of gray, just right here in the foundation, the false foundation. But anyway, it's coming around. We got more pillars on the porch and the other half of the house to support it. Yeah, the uh, roof lines coming together. Yeah, and that's, for the most part, that's, that's camp. We'll go up to the roof level here and let y'all check out the roof lines. This one was a lot of effort to get to come together. So we've got, once again, custom custom soffits, everything's overhanging. All the lines are merged together to make it a perfectly straight line. Uh, so yeah, this roof is also two layers on each individual roof piece. So this this slanted piece is two layers of roof blend together the enclave and the ranch roof. Offset from each other. Um, and then we've also got multiple layers coming together. Let me go into the build camera. I kind of show out show what we got going here so this one right here we got one layer here or one row this is three rows you can see these overlap so we've got 
an overlapping piece here and an overlapping piece here. So all these on this one actually overlap to make this custom sized roof to cover this section right here. And then this also overlaps over the roof below which also overlaps right here or overhangs more like it and then this roof is a lot like the roof on that first house we were at today where it's uh, one two three across so yeah we got three rows across here and then it goes straight across out there um, no overlap going in this direction but it overlaps in this direction uh, to get you know that seamless looking roof and then on the front side once again we have another custom height roof that's overlapped as well uh, this one is actually raised up a bit so I had to do a custom wall height as well here so if you come over here to the side this isn't a half wall and it's not a full wall we've got it's like three quarters of a wall <laughs> and they're merged together to make this custom height wall on the side which meets up with uh, the roof underneath running the uh, length of this so that was a bit tricky that was a bit tricky to get done yeah so all that going on and then also we got the fireplace that is merged down through this also really tricky and a bit of a pain in the butt to get done and inside the fireplace I do have a fire to make the smoke which is why you see this bit of orange glow up here because the fire does put off a glow and there's nothing to really stop the light from coming through and over here is the exhaust uh, pipe that I was talking about for the range hood so if we drop down you can see yeah range hood and exhaust pipe right in line with each other right there and uh, with the main the center structure being three and a half walls long I had to build a, a half wall section uh, half wall section out of the wavy Willard's walls to kind of blend that together so that kind of brought all that together and you know once again merged merged wall pieces on the side to make this unique shape for the uh, back window and as you can see as I'm flying around here in build mode you can see all the broken trees that I use to bolt to uh, mow the lawn <laughs> Otherwise, it was just a jungle out here, so I had to put these out to uh, bulldoze everything. And like I said, you keep them broken, and you know you never have to see them, except for when you're in build mode. But yeah. So there, there was that, and then uh, these guys right here, these pillars. The way that I did these is um, they're actually supported by conduit you see the little pieces of conduit right here and what it is I blueprinted them so I've got I had them blueprinted you know each each on a piece of conduit I can go to the blueprint and show you guys what I got um, for that column counter pillars yeah this is blueprint right here um, I use this blueprint to keep all the spacings on the pillars even and I drop merge them through the conduit and I had pulled the floors out and I was just using the roofs. You go to the asbestos roof after you've drop merged them all the way down so that they're below the roof line. And you can snap them in from the top and get them all on the line. So that's how I did the, uh, the pillars going through here. Was, uh, yeah. And at first when I started this build, there was a lot more pillars. And it just wasn't looking quite right to me. And that's when I ended up extending at first it was just this center section all the way to the ground and then I branched out to having this section too because it just felt weird looking at just the one for whatever reason and having this overhang here I thought it needed to have something more so I went all the way to the ground within it and I think to my eye it fixed it it looked better with that bit right there than not having that there so it's just kind of yeah, going into these builds, it's like you look at it and you have this vision in your mind that you think will work, and then you start doing it, and then you know things change. And 
I might change more and more about the front of this house as I go along. That I mean, I'm thinking about the possibility of taking this back to glass and making it a full glass all the way around again. I don't know yet. But yeah, that's just how it kind of is. You kind of go back and forth and second guess yourself and keep redoing it, and eventually you gotta you gotta wrap it up and ship it. But um, yeah, that's what I've got so far on this. Uh, another build in progress. And yeah, I kind of got my plate full right now. I got you know, three projects ongoing, and yeah, plus trying to film and hang out with y'all and maintain the channel to a certain extent. But, anyways, any of y'all who uh, came in late today, uh, like I said earlier, we the stream got broken in half because. Uh, because of the uh, game crashing on us. So there is another stream from today where I did go over some techniques and tricks that you can use in your, your builds. So if you haven't seen, if you weren't here for the beginning, uh, after you know I sign out here in about two seconds, uh, go back and check that out. Um, if you want to help support the channel, you know, be sure to throw your likes, thumbs ups, comment, uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed, share my videos. Uh, super chats are always available during my live streams. You can donate to the channel through Super Chats. Uh, and any support you throw my way is greatly appreciated. You don't have to, but if you want to, you can. Um, but, yeah. So, uh, until next time. It's been a good time today. I do appreciate y'all. And I hope you guys and gals have a... What roof is that? That is the Enclave roof and the Ranch roof. Um... I hope you guys and gals have a wonderful weekend, and uh, I hope to catch you guys again pretty soon. I'll probably live stream again sometime this week, I say. Uh, not sure when. It'll be during the week while the kids are at school, likely. Um, everybody's waking up here, so it's about time to kick off of here anyways. So, yeah. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend, and keep on keeping on keep building and no matter how many times the game crashes let's try to get something done on here what do you say <laughs> so i hope to see y'all in the facebook groups and you know we'll share i need to quit rambling i'm horrible at goodbyes did you know that <laughs> so anyways have a wonderful weekend and happy building everyone take it easy I am out of here.